time I talked about why I left the United States and moved to Germany. And now, the question is which is better, which is worse? Is Germany better than the United States? Well, both countries have advantages and disadvantages. First of all, uh, what can we say positive about the United States? Well, the United States seems a lot more business friendly. It's a great place if you're a rich guy wanting to start a business. There are none of those pesky labor laws. The labor unions are very weak in America, so there is no paid maternity leave. There are no limits on work hours. You can work 12 hours a day and it's not against the law. You workers don't get any paid vacation. Taxes on businesses are low, so you can hire or fire people for any reason at all. So, if you're a rich guy and you want to start a business, the United States is much better. But if you're a worker, hmm, no. I like having paid vacation days. I like it that if I have a, you know, as we call it, a feste Stelle, you know, a permanent job, and I get ill, I get paid for my sick days, and that's the law. They can't force me to go to work when I'm sick. Universities. The United States has some of the best private universities on earth, and if you love prestige and you want to be able to say you went to Harvard or Yale or Stanford or where I went, New York University, then yeah, go for it. The only problem is it might cost 50000 a year or more. They have sort of looser laws about who can study, so you can always begin a new career, start a new degree, even if you have bad grades. That's not possible in Germany. In Germany, if you have crappy grades, you're not going to get into some university <laughs> program. Um, and they don't have these community colleges. Like in America, lousy grades, no problem. You go to the community college for a year or two, you pump up your GPA, and you get into a four-year university. That's not possible here. So here, it's free, or almost free. You may pay mm, 400 a year, maybe 600 a year for your student fees, and you got to buy your books, and you've got to live. But it's basically very, very cheap. But it's not so easy to get in. Music. When I lived in New York, New York had the best jazz, blues, and R&B music, soul music. Um, the arts and the theater in America get a lot of money from rich patrons, from foundations, and then there's college radio, so um, there, there's some great cultural, there are some great cultural resources in the United States. On the other hand, in Germany, a lot of towns, mm, you're lucky if there's one little jazz club. And you may be driving around looking for something. Uh, you don't see that concentration, with the exception of maybe um, Berlin, or Frankfurt, or a really big city. In New York, there were these jazz clubs with no cover charge and a drink minimum. Um, there were little restaurants that would have people making music, and it was free. It's really hard to find something like that around here. Lucky for me, I live in a little village with just that kind of place where um, people play for the hat. And so, if you're in Alzheim, you can go to zum alten Kälterhaus and you can hear some live music with no cover. But that's really hard to find around here. Nature. The United States has some really beautiful national parks. I've been to uh, Yosemite National Park. Um, there are some really beautiful natural areas. The United States has everything. It has desert and giant mountains and small mountains on the East Coast. Forests and ocean, lakes. But, well, Germany has a lot of those things too. With the exception of desert, there are no German deserts. Not yet. With global warming, 
Who knows? Maybe Bielefeld will become a desert. At any rate, you've got everything in Germany. I mean, it's amazing. Um, I've been to the North Sea, I've been to the Alps, I've been in the forest, I go hiking and cycling and skiing, and it's amazing. Since I was a child, the United States has been changing a lot. The United States has been sinking into a financial, educational, political, and intellectual morass. There's a lack of health insurance system, and there is a lack of proper gun regulations of any kind, even decent public housing. The culture has been going downhill. It's very violent, it's very divisive. That's not the United States I grew up in when I was a kid. Um, I grew up in New Jersey in a very multi culty area. There were kids whose parents were from China, from India, Puerto Rico, Jamaica, you name it. Every ethnicity, Italian, Polish, Greek, everything. And we had differences, but we treated each other with respect. And when I see what's going on in the United States today, it's like everyone's lost their minds. They just they can't even um, talk about anything without biting each other's heads off. So, how about Germany? Well, there are some crazy people in Germany too, the AFD, for example. They're like those guys you saw with the torches in the United States who were screaming about, uh, you will not replace us. They're the German equivalent. They're stupid, they're loud, they're obnoxious, everybody hates them. They basically got about 12% of the vote. In some areas, they got even more, almost 19 or 20 percent. That means that about a fifth of the people in some parts of Germany are like that. And that means about 80 percent of us are not like that. They mainly won a lot of voters in the eastern areas where there's high unemployment. Um, there isn't much going on. Ever since these areas left communism, it's just like they overnight lost everything. The communist system was bad, but everybody had a job. Uh, they had little nightclubs everywhere. There was a thriving cultural scene. There were young people and old people and everything. And since the downfall of communism, these areas have emptied out. The young people are gone. The older people don't know what to do with themselves. And so you can see how frustrated they were. And they just said, well, we'll vote for anybody other than the ones who are in power. There are some really crazy racist Nazis in that party. And I'm sure you could say, well, not all of them are like that. Maybe some of them are just, you know, opportunists, and they said, oh, well, if I join that party, I'll get a position. Well, <laughs> you could join any party and get a position. I joined the Green Party, and I have some crappy little position here. <laughs> what is good about Germany? Well, a lot. First of all, almost free health insurance free, almost free education at the universities. I mean, you do have a student fee. The student fee in Mainz is about 300 per semester. That's 600 a year. And you can even get paid for job training. That means that in America, that you pay money to go to vocational school. You might even take out loans. And in Germany, they pay you. They give you a monthly stipend so that you can do your job training. If you lose your job in Germany, and you go to the job center, and you can talk them into sending you for job training, they will pay you, and they will pay for everything. And then there's the food. The food is excellent. And not just the German food, but we're in the center of Europe, so we got people from all over. You can get Greek food from real Greek people. You get Italian food. You can get French food, Eastern European food. 
all the American food that you eat is in Germany. There's a KFC, there's a Burger King, there's a McDonald's. The food is also GMO free. There's a lot of organic food. The salads are excellent. The traditional German food is really delicious. And there's a lot of vegetarian food. You wouldn't think that. You think, oh, Germany is schnitzel and sauerkraut and wurst. Well, that's not really true. You can now get your vegan currywurst. Then there are the historical sites, the castles, the old palaces, the beautiful town centers. The population is much better educated, which can be a good thing or a bad thing. I mean, if, like me, you're used to being the smartest person in the room and being called a brainiac. And then you go to the university here and all the women are brainiacs and they all speak four languages, have an IQ of 150 and look like Heidi Klum. Then it's kind of intimidating. Safe streets. I lived in New York for 14 years and I sometimes was really freaked out about creepy guys bothering me in the streets, guys following me home. You never knew what was going to happen. Gotta say, I feel much safer in Germany. And, and you've heard, oh, there are bad areas, no-go areas. I went to the no-go area. Nobody bothered me. It was okay. There were some women with scarves on their heads. Thank God that I'm not afraid of scarves. And then there's the public transit. It's another really great advantage. I have my bond card. I can get a discount price. The public transit is really good. It's safe, it's clean. There are big picture windows. Then there are the bike paths. In New York, I was a bike courier and I frequently was almost run over. There's a social safety net. There's a much better political system here which um, makes it easier to run for office. In Germany, there are more choices, and that means it's easier to participate. Well, every country seems to have some racists and some brutal people here, the police really seem to want to protect the people. And um, this whole police brutality that you hear about in America doesn't really happen here. They don't um, scream at you. They don't put their hand on their weapon like they're gonna murder you. Now you may be saying, well, what about your experiences in America? Did you have bad experiences? Um, I haven't had any really bad experiences other than sort of snarky, nasty, a little bit rude cops. But I personally know lots of people who had very bad experiences in the United States. So, are there downsides to living in Germany? Yeah, I kind of miss the um, art scene that I saw in New York. The tax forms here are excruciatingly annoying and complex. And the language, <sighs> the German language. Be prepared to spend at least five years trying to sort out der, die, das. On the other hand, um, if you're willing to put the work into it, you can learn the language. Both countries have some advantages and disadvantages. So, if you're a billionaire, especially a white billionaire, America is the place to live. For anybody else who's not a multi-millionaire and likes to have affordable health care, housing, food, rent, uh, education, then I would say Germany is much better. Thanks for watching and don't forget to click like and subscribe.